and debate in this country are established before the debate even begins, and everyone else. debate in this country are established before the debate even begins and everyone else is marginalized or made to seem either to be communists or some sort of disloyal person a kook there's a word and now it's conspiracy say they've made that something that should not be even entertained for a minute that powerful people might get together and have a plan doesn't happen you're a kook you're a conspiracy buff only an alert and knowledgeable citizenry can compel the proper meshing of the huge industrial and military machinery of defense with our peaceful methods and goals so that security and liberty may prosper together. In the 1950s, a weapon was invented that has become more powerful than America's deadliest weapons of mass destruction. It is the weapon of mass deception, and it is right in our own living rooms. The hypnotizing world of picture television brings us the news of the world through two central news agencies called Reuters and the Associated Press. The Rothschilds bought Reuters in the 1800s, which later bought the Associated Press and made the Rothschild family owners of the world's largest central news services. To the present day, the world depends on these Rothschild-owned central news services as their main source of news and information. As, as a musical reporter, how do you feel about the, the music industry as a whole? Because, I mean, you have made, I had a good time making a good living at the music industry. Well, let's talk about the music industry for a moment. Okay. Uh, the important that... word here is industry. Not <laughs> it's very big, and it's very powerful, and the bigger it gets and the more powerful it gets, the more appealing it becomes to people in the government because they see the vehicle by which they can reach a younger age voter group. And so we have situations like people who want to run for office approaching people who are in the music business to either donate their services for concerts or to endorse candidates. It started to happen during the last bunch of elections, and I'm sure it's going to happen a lot during the next bunch of elections. And every time you see a political figure in the presence of a person from the music business or from television or from the movies, you should smell a rat and get away from it. You mean because you think they've been paid off to support them? Of course, there, are, convictions there, in that area. there are very few times uh, that I can imagine where convictions will play a part in it, and many times where there is pressure put on the artist, especially in terms of recording artists, where this joining of forces between the music people and the political people are to the advantage of both parties. I'm grateful for your generous invitation to state my views. While the so-called religious issue is necessarily and properly the chief topic here tonight. I want to emphasize from the outset that I believe that we have far more critical issues for war and hunger and ignorance and despair. No, no religious barrier. But because I am a Catholic and no Catholic has ever been elected president, the real issues in this campaign have been obscured, perhaps deliberately, in some quarters less responsible than this. So it is apparently necessary for me to state once again, not what kind of church I believe in, for that should be important only to me, but what kind of America I believe in. I believe in an America 